professional actor at the age of 10, which was in 1958. And then for family reasons, the family illnesses, I had to move from London, where I was living at the time, <coughs> um, back down to here. Um, and my father was a builder, had a building company, and I had to help wind the business up, basically, because he was seriously ill. Um, and I had to get a regular job, which I did. And one falls into a, a, a life routine, and it's very difficult to get back again. That is the problem. I started about three years ago again. There's a, a film being made in Hastings. Um, and my daughter talked me into going for an audition. And it was a bit like now they sort of set the camera going and just talk about yourself for a few minutes. And he just said, Oh, it's not the first time you've been in front of a camera. And I went, Well, no, but many, many years ago. And, um, the very next weekend I met who is now my present agent at a party so I had a feeling that was sort of uh, that had to be really that was, it. That was fate so now I'm doing some of that and obviously my priority is here fish and ship shop which is enough My name's Julian Gibbs and I'm a partner in the, in the fish and chip business with my daughter Stephanie Gibbs and we started 12 years ago. Um, we work hard every day but we do have Christmas day off um, and we enjoy what we do. regular customers that come down either every week or every month, once a year, you know, but we also have a lot of local people of course, but uh, being seaside town we rely on a lot of holiday makers, but uh, we still see everybody, they come down on holiday once a year and they always come into us for fish and chips and it was quite nice and you see the kids getting older and it's just catching up, the years what's happened in the year with the customers, it's a very personal relationship. Because we're a seaside fish and chip shop, our trade is really done in six months. And then in the winter you merely tick over with a few regular customers and a few maybe the odd day tripper that comes down. So it's very difficult to survive from October to end of March. Um, I think a lot of businesses, if that was their first year this year or last year, I think they'd probably have real problems. When you've been in the business for 12 years, you're inclined to be a bit more resilient and also you learn the lesson of not spending money at the end of the summer because you happen to have got some. You know, you will actually store it away and we'll be using it up long before the new season starts, unfortunately. Um, fish itself is not fattening. The batter, possibly has a question mark over it <laughs> but really as a meal it's not that bad for you although it gets very bad press from the from the um, health conscious people you know but uh, it's just it's just a tradition part part of our culture <laughs>